Fabulous weather outside today. Finally, some spring conditions are here in town. You will find on our downtown sky cam nothing but beautiful blue skies and plenty of sun just pouring into downtown Toledo. And it even looks like a nice calm day here on the Maumee as well. That water not so choppy out there. So some lighter winds in the forecast as well. We're going to keep the sun in. I know a lot of you have been saying, oh, you said sun in the morning and then here comes the clouds in the afternoon or vice versa. But thankfully today it's straight across the board as far as keeping the sun in the forecast. We'll have that not only for lunch, but for dinner. And then as we head into the overnight, we won't have much of a cloud blanket. You'll see clear conditions last as we go into the overnight. So how about maybe getting out there to enjoy the weather? Well, for some, they do enjoy mowing. For others, it's a chore, but because it's warm and we've seen quite a bit of rain, that means that we do have to cut the grass. So today you can get it done. No problems catching up as far as Wednesday. Still plenty of sun. You have the green mower and Thursday. It's going to be a little bit warmer to do that. We'll have 80s, but if you don't mind breaking a sweat, you can get the push mowing done and then have that done before we have rainfall on Friday. Yes, we are looking at rain to move back in as we get closer to the weekend. So as far as some mowing, you have three great days to get that done and you're going to find Friday. It becomes a little more tricky to squeeze in some mow time. But if we're going to be outside, just a heads up as far as those allergies, the allergy forecast, those kind of hovering in that medium, getting close to some of those higher conditions, you'll find that we hold and just they'll increase as far as that pollen and just those allergies are concerned as we go through this week. You'll see we're into those high conditions on Thursday. That's when we're going to have the heat and just kind of really getting through this dry stretch to where that's going to allow a lot of those allergens in the air. Friday with the rain on the forecast, you can see we're kind of in those lower conditions, but still it's not going to last all that long. It's just a little bit of quick relief because we're back into those high conditions as we go into Saturday. So it's going to be yet another chance for some rain in the forecast, but it might just be dry enough that we do have to worry about some of that pollen to be in the air. As far as some of those conditions that are causing well those allergies to be elevated mold and also the trees of course those leaves allowing us to have a little bit of the sneeze and the sniffles but it's hard to resist the outdoors when we're talking 70s and even 82 by Thursday we see those temperatures climb just like we do those allergies so keep in mind as you're wanting to get outside that we are going to be maybe using a little bit of that over counter uh, allergy medicine to get us through We'll still hold on to some seasonal 70s when we are talking about rainfall in the weekend forecast, but the rain really drops us down into the 60s once again on Monday. That's going to be below average talking anything in the 60s. We should normally be into those 70s by now, and thankfully we do rebound there for the middle of next week as we'll see that our atmosphere is a little bit of a pattern creating as far as wet weekends, cooler Mondays, and then dry weather into the middle of the week. But that's timing up pretty good here for the biggest week in American birding. I know a lot of folks are in town and thankfully the forecast is on board as far as birding week. You're going to find that we have 72 for today and we continue with those with that heat 78 tomorrow, 82 by Thursday, and you'll see plenty of sun. Thankfully, the rain chance for today that's done. So we have dry weather for those who are going to be grabbing their binoculars and heading out to maybe Maggie Marsh to do a little bit of birding. You will find that you need your sunscreen and your sunglasses though when you head out there. I know it's also pretty comfortable for those who are going and looking for our, some of our feathered friends that are in town. You're going to find 63 here in Toledo. We're going to continue to see more of that heat as that's just building it off towards our south. We have 70s and 80s further down, and yet you're going to find that, well, for us, we're yet maybe on the cooler side. We have some 50s further north, but we're kind of sandwiched into the middle. And overall, though, seeing some heat that's a little more on track for this point in the season. Now, it's pretty quiet here today. We have high pressure that's building in, so that's to be overhead for us, but you will find that we have some stronger storms that are out into the central plains. Also watching this moisture that's off towards the Gulf. A lot of these ingredients are going to kind of come together and they're going to be creating some new cyclones or low pressure systems that is, and those are going to be moving into town. So that's what we're going to be watching once we get closer to the weekend forecast. So with a rainy weekend ahead, download the WTOL 11 weather app. All you have to do is search WTOL 11 weather. Do that on the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store, and then you can get that app downloaded. It is a free download. 
and you'll have tools like radar that you'll be using this weekend, but then you can watch hourly temperatures or even that full 10 day always live. All you have to do is open the app. So a great tool to have whether you don't have it already or you're going to be getting that app. Now we do have dry weather. So though you might think, oh, I don't need to be using it. You're going to be watching the temperatures on there as those climb and then they kind of dip back down once we start to see those rainy conditions. Fridays, some showers, some thunderstorms, not severe. And then we're looking at still some showers for your Saturday and Sunday. You'll see we hold the 70s with the rain, but we drop on Monday. Dry weather, but 68 degrees. Back to some showers on Tuesday as we have some 70s that'll be rebounding in the forecast. So though the timing not ideal as a lot of us have events, plans, Mother's Day this weekend, though we are talking the rainfall, we'll see if we can kind of clean that up a little bit. But overall, I plan on some wet weather getting closer to the weekend. But even before then, make sure you get outside. Though the allergies are a little bit tr a troublesome, we do have some 70s and some nice, dry, warm days ahead of us. So enjoy it.